Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I have a truly heartbreaking story to share with you, and um, it's honestly one of the saddest stories I've ever heard within the DBD community. And if you're watching this, I highly recommend a box of tissues because this is definitely gonna pull at your heartstrings. Now the main character of this story is a cheater. Somebody who uses hacks in Dead by Daylight. And they stream it and post clips on TikTok of them cheating and using hacks. And I know what you're thinking. Well, that's cringe. That's stupid. Why would why would they do that? The cheating ruins people's games and uh, is, you know, makes behavior lose money and ruins the game. And I know, I get it. But when you hear about what happened to this individual and what caused them to start cheating, what really pushed them over the edge, you'll understand. I think it would be best to hear this story from the cheater themselves, and we'll sort of break it down as they go. So let's get into it. So I had a friend. The hatch is going to be right here in case anybody wants to know. So my friend would play with hacks, and I would want to play some games with him because he's my friend. And I had fun playing games with him. Yeah, I mean, I don't see the big deal. That's your friend. I mean, friendship conquers all. It doesn't really matter if they're cheating or what they're doing. You know, you have fun gaming together. And, you know, that's just the power of friendship, really. I played legit, bought all the characters legit, spent all the money, completed all the challenges legit. They did all of the challenges legit. I mean, I don't know anybody who does challenges legit, let alone all of them. And spending money on the game for characters and cosmetics? I mean, get out of town. My nurse was P100. I was one of, actually one of the first P100 nurses, possibly the first. Okay, sorry to interrupt again, but the first ever P100 nurse? Holy moly. I mean, they gotta be legit. I mean, the first ever? So I played with my friend who would use hacks, and even though I wasn't hacking, I found a lot of it amusing. And as a content creator, I would be in games with him, and I would post videos of them. I would post all my games. This went on for about a year. Right, so this friend that you were playing with was using hacks, and you thought that they were amusing. And so, you know, as a content creator, just make some videos, make some content, you know? I mean, what else are you going to do as a content creator? You got to create content, am I right? So, like, your friend's cheating, you're already playing together, so you might as well, for an entire year, just make content with the cheater. What's the big deal? Enough people got mad at me and wanted to bring me down, and they would send all, all of my videos to behavior, and eventually my account did get banned. I mean, come on, why, why do you got to bring the guy down, you know, he's just making content and he's playing with a cheater, you know, who cares? Why do you got to, you got to report him and bring him down? Oh, and from that point, I lost all that stuff and I decided, well, I'm not going to buy all that again. I mean, yeah, obviously, why would you ever give behavior money again? after the way that they kicked you to the curb. You can get banned for association. And that's what happens, is that behavior bans the people who aren't hacking. And the actual hackers don't really get punished because even though they get banned, they come right back with unlimited accounts. I agree, that's honestly ridiculous. Behavior should not be banning people for knowingly partying up and playing with cheaters. I mean, that'd be like, if I had a friend who robbed a bank and then they split the money with me, it's like, I shouldn't get in trouble for spending that money or reaping the reward for what my friend did. It's not like I robbed the bank, you know? My friend robbed the bank. So obviously I'm not gonna get in trouble if we split the money and I spend it because, you know, the friend did the, did the, the robbing. Yes, I am hacking because I got banned. My legit account got banned where I bought everything, all the characters, tons of uh, skins, and I'm not giving behavior any more of my money. <laughs> not the legit account, not the cosmetics. <laughs> you pop off, don't you dare support behavior ever again. This whole thing is about revenge on behavior. Well, not necessarily revenge, but maybe 
to expose the flaw in their banning system of how they actually ban legitimate players. It's about time behavior got exposed for all these these bogus bans on legitimate players like yourself. But really, I'm just messing around. I, I honestly don't care about the game that much to where it's like, it's not that big of a deal. Well, of course it's not a big deal. I mean, obviously you don't care, you know, 4,000 hours, the first ever P100 nurse, you know, having a vendetta against this, you know, game developing company for banning you for playing with cheaters and making content of it. Like you don't. Yeah. Why would you care? You don't care. You definitely don't care. Would you rather go against somebody that's just blatantly hacking, you know, like just blinding you from across the map when you're not even there or just clearly running with speed hacks and teleporting? Or would you rather go against somebody who is secretly, subtly? Whew, those are those are my options. Those two things, because I'd I'd probably rather just play in a, a normal match with no no cheaters. But those just those two. Okay, if those are my only two options, I guess the the one with the I don't. I've actually willingly played against hackers for three hours straight. You did not. No way. Three hours willingly. You sat, it re what? No. With hackers for three hours, willingly. You said, I'm gonna, I wanna do that for three hours. And you're like, yeah, I want that. God, you're so cool. Well, how, what about the, what about the people who make the game less fun for the other people who just like camp and tunnel and slug and BM? Like that's making the game unfun for people, isn't it? But that's okay because what? Because it's within limits? Finally, someone said it. Ugh, I mean, I thought I was the only one who reported killers for camping and tunneling every game because it's basically cheating, you know? Like, it's, it's not really any different than going against a cheater if you're getting camped and tunneled. I mean, both are equally as unfun and unfair. Like, if, if I go against a cheater... What am I going to, uh, nothing I can do, right? It's just, it is what it is. And same with camping and tunneling, you know? It's just, they both. So what have we learned today? We've learned that not all cheaters are bad. Not all cheaters want to ruin your games and, uh, you know, ruin the game and make behavior lose uh, players and money. You know, some people just, you know, just want to get revenge it's like a classic revenge story you know something you'd see in die hard or like john wick this cheater is the hero the unsung hero and behavior is just the big evil corporation that is you know poisoning the water for the for the people i think that cheaters need to be celebrated a little bit more and not not shunned so much because who knows how many of these cheaters have been wronged like this by <laughs> i 